We left the tag on. <laughs> Evening. It's uh, Wednesday, 22nd September 21. Uh, just gone six o'clock, or just after six o'clock, uh, and we're off on another uh, midweek evening ride out. Just a tootle around again, and uh, I'm trying out the uh, GoPro Hero 10 Black which arrived yesterday so this is it's a bit of a test uh, run with it to see how it goes so uh, again not, it's not a long ride out but just a little uh, short tootle around before it's uh, before we run out of summer and get proper into the autumn and uh, and winter season. So uh, yeah, bought the uh, GoPro Hero 10 Black with the uh, medium mod, and the uh, and I bought the uh, Max lens mod, but I don't think that's going to work on it yet. I think they've got to do a software update to. Uh, to the to the GoPro for that to work and I think that's coming a bit later um, next month or November at the latest it works on the Hero 9 but it doesn't work on the Hero 10 so that's coming uh, I bought it anyway so it's ready so that might give another bit of interest to the to the videos if you can uh, get a wider angle so yeah, for now, just trying this one out, see what it does, see what the footage looks like, see how it performs. Hopefully my problems I was getting with me uh, Hero 7, intermittently not doing what it was supposed to do, i.e. turning bloody on and recording. Hopefully uh, this will be resolved. And I can then use that as a, as a rearward facing camera or for rear views or blimey strong smell of weed then or uh, or whatever uh, i've got the uh got a few alternatives now we've got paul and uh nick nick on his mt09 i was out previously with nick so this is the second ride out i've had with him mt09 sp i think is what he's got so most of the Scotland videos have uh, are done and published on YouTube now. Uh, by the time this one gets published, they'll, they'll have all been uh, all been uploaded and and, uh, and finished. And I've got a couple of uh, full of others to go as well. I might be uh, removing to the wind till there'll be a little less, uh, a few less videos going on. There's one a week at the moment with the with the Scottish tour videos going on, uh, but that. Uh, probably going to wane away a bit as so I've got a few to do from last year to be to be fair uh, so I've got you know, it'll be a few but they'll be uh, slightly more spaced out and then for the coming year I'm trying to think of uh, things I can do to make the videos a bit more interesting uh, some new sort of ideas innovations as to how we can uh, make them entertaining so they do the job I want them to do, which is give me the record of, uh, of me uh, 
biking career, so I'll always have that as the uh, as the as the record of them. But uh, it's a question of how I can yeah, keep them fresh. So we'll be having a look at that. So there's also a bit of a battery test with the GoPro as well tonight. See how long this battery runs for. Uh, I did. I have bought a spare battery, uh, but what I want to see is. Um, how long they last and then I believe I'll be able to run the camera on uh, on a power bank so I'm looking to do that I could never do that properly with a Hero 7 because sometimes it would affect the uh, the uh, mic adapter and sometimes it just wouldn't wouldn't record anything couldn't record any sound when I was trying to run it off a power bank Hopefully, uh, the Hero 10 has uh, ironed all that nonsense out. So I'm away next week in Torquay. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to be out the weekend. I might have a look what the weather's doing. I might have a little trip out the weekend because I want to play with the uh, the Beeline and see what I've got a bit more experience and uh, see what that does. I might be out for a couple of hours a weekend playing on the B-Line or playing with the B-Line, sat nav so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with that what I need to be thinking about is uh, wind noise because I, uh, I noticed on my Scottish videos I was getting a lot of wind noise because I spend a lot of time with my visor up and uh, again as part of this experiment I want to be seeing what the effect is with my visor down on wind noise and all that sort of stuff so uh, it's a, uh, it's a bit of an experimentation evening tonight. And boy do I still love this bike. Yeah, I'm pleased with how the, uh, the videos of Scotland turned out. Uh, they've turned out really well. Um, I only used the uh, the one GoPro because I decided uh, trying to manage multiple GoPros was a pain in the arse. So I've gone down to the uh, on the Scotland tour just the one GoPro, the front helmet mounted GoPro, um, and I think you know it's all right having the uh, alternate angles, the face facing camera and the rearward facing camera. <coughs> but it just makes the bloody editing process a nightmare. It really does. I'm trying to sync them up, and maybe there's uh, something I'm doing wrong with how I'm trying to sync them up. So uh, I did have a, did start at one stage using the uh, uh, the GoPro remote control, and I could start multiple cameras up at the same time. But it was Bluetooth, it was intermittent, sometimes all of them would work, sometimes one of them would work, sometimes none of them, and uh, I gave that up as a bad job. And then I fitted them quite, uh, by the ones on my helmet, I could fit them where I could operate the button on them to turn them on and off, but as I say, if, uh, unless you start them all up at the same time, syncing becomes a bit of a pain. So, uh, yeah, but I was also always trying to think of ways that I could make the videos interesting. Probably do a lot more with the uh, the 360 video, I think, uh, going forward as well. I was going to bring you tonight, but I say this was uh, really a, not impromptu. I knew it was going to happen, but I just didn't really feel like uh, doing a lot of prep tonight, apart from just getting the... Uh, the GoPro Hero 10 uh, up and running. So it's uh, where I've mounted on front of my helmet now is a lot better. The screen I can see, so I can see where the recording started, uh, which was always a bit of an issue previously. Uh, often I could hear it, but sometimes I couldn't, and I had to try and look in the mirror to see if it was running, which was a bit of a pain. So uh, with this new mounting position. Um, we'll see how this one looks and see how this one goes again so it's just experimenting, refining, tweaking
it's a uh, nice 17 degrees at the moment um, no lining in my jacket took it out left it out relatively comfortable so getting the fresh air in your lungs is what it's all about so I know Paul's using the beeline so wherever we're going he's, uh, he's mapped that out on his phone and uh, of course that's then transmitted to the beeline so he's using that as the uh, the means of navigation tonight so I'm using sort of these opportunities now to uh, to get out and about because we can never quite be sure when the weather's going to take a real turn or whether this moronic government are going to uh, impose more restrictions on us again during the autumn winter period so, uh, we shall see so let's get out while we can hit the uh, 1700 miles uh, 1704 uh, when I uh, when I left home on 1712 now uh, I don't think I've ever put so many miles on a bike so quickly without having to get the first service in order to go away and then doing a thousand miles on the uh, on the four day trip so uh, did a lot of uh, well, a fair few miles on fairly quickly well, I never knew that bought you out on this island, or I never knew this island took you down there. The Hadley Mile. There's quite a bit of wind noise in my helmet now, so it'll uh, be interesting to see the effect that has on the, uh, on the audio. I use a purple panda microphone which is one of the, be really the best microphones I've found really for these purposes. Uh, it's got a dead cat on it as well to, to reduce the wind noise but uh, still finding it on the Scotland trip uh, and with the, uh, with the uh, new smaller uh, screen on that's uh, you know, removed any uh, protection that the screen had, not that I wanted it anyway, so the, yeah, so uh, for decent audio I think I've got to have my visor down unless you don't uh, unless I'm moving slowly and there's uh, and you've got no wind noise but any sort of speed above, I'm a 34, 35 now, so above 35 mile an hour the wind noise picks up if you've got the visor open and, and it's, 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 you know, it's not too bad but uh, if the videos would be better if it wasn't there. So I want to try and alleviate that as much as I can now. Well, I've definitely got my mojo back now after that uh, COVID nonsense and uh, losing interest in riding my bikes. Uh, it's fairly, it's pretty, it is back now. Thank God. Worried at one stage I'd lost it completely. Bell Broughton Road. Yeah, I'm interested to see what the footage looks like. Uh, Run the GoPro Hero 10. I'm filming this in slightly higher resolution. I used to do it all in uh, uh, 1910, I can't remember, or 1890. Uh, I'm doing this in 2.7K uh, at 60 frames per second. So slightly higher resolution, same frame rate. Uh, so interesting to see what it looks like. Super view is the uh, camera setting. Not quite what happened then. Well, Broughton has a, uh, we used to have a scarecrow festival. I don't know whether it's. Uh, still happens, but it used to be uh, a 
came through the, t the village once when it was going on and it was uh, really interesting. Strange looking scarecrow, sort of thing you'd, re you'd find in a rural country town or village. It was really nice. Uh, one to definitely take uh, the kids to if it comes around. Or in my case the grandkids. So, uh, yeah, Bell Broughton Scarecrow Festival. thing as well somehow or other I've managed to get a hundred subscribers so uh, thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel I say it's not about uh, building the channel up and monetizing it it's just about hopefully providing a bit of an enjoyment and uh, creating my sort of record of my rides and uh, if you if you subscribed, I must be doing something right. Uh, and, and, and people keep commenting as well. Those of you keep commenting, thank you very much for that as well. I try to respond to every everybody who makes a comment, uh, provides feedback. Really appreciate it. But achieving 100 followers, wow! Who'd have thought? So thank you, each and every one of you, for um, giving me a, all my videos. Uh, your time and, uh, and, and you know and, uh, and supporting the little channel thank you I really appreciate it Yeah, it's good.
As you can see now it's uh, 6.57 and uh, we're at dusk now so the nights are drawing in really quickly so I doubt we're going to get much, many more sort of evening ride outs now this is Starport on 7 and we're just about to cross the bridge across the River 7 again and the Starbridge Pump Fair little uh, little sort of fun town for people of uh, Birmingham and Black Country a few pubs and sh nice shops, little fun fair by the river nice park uh, amusement arcade cracking little place somewhere that you would come as a special outing when you were a kid for people like me that uh, grew up in the uh, on the outskirts of Birmingham uh, similar in many ways to Matlock uh, one of those I like to call them sort of inland seaside towns one of the best ways to describe Starport I think inland seaside town such a responsive bike when you need the power it's just there this is very much just a little hoon around the uh I'm sort of making our, our way steadily back home now. I think I'm going to wrap the video up now so uh, for any of you that have stuck with it this far thanks again for watching and uh, a final thank you again for getting me to a hundred subscribers I totally appreciate every single one of you uh, it's brilliant thank you uh, and I'll do my best to try and keep uh, the content entertaining and um, sometimes informative uh, so yeah please comment please uh, you know leave a like a thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't comments are welcome feedback I'm 
know, anything that you think I can do to try and make the channel a bit better, a bit more interesting, uh, more than welcome. And I do try to uh, to respond to everybody that leaves a uh, leaves a comment. So on that note, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, see you again soon for another video.